join me and my best friends on our adventures in the land of their soft, cuddly friends. And don't forget to give me a big cuddle at the end of each story and tell me how much fun you've had. Hoppy, Lita, Timmy, they are the best of friends. They love to play together, rabbit, lamb and bear. They slide into adventure when no one is around. Magic times at least are strapped, so much fun to be found. So family friends, the best of friends, the land of the soft family friends. Where adventure never ends, sliding down with friends around them. So much stuff to learn about them, both that new adventures they never could be bored there's loads of new friends to be met great big ones or small to beaches or the valley or mountains way up high who knows where they go today there's something new each time so friendly friends the best of friends the land of the soft family friends where adventure never ends sliding down with friends around so much stuff to learn about them Hold that slide away So family friends, the best of friends The land of the soft family friends Hold that slide away The Soft Cuddly Friends As another happy customer leaves Lisa's shop, she waves goodbye. But remember, this is no ordinary shop. As soon as you see the cheery yellow door and the sign that says Soft Cuddly Friends, it's easy to tell this is a special place, full of soft teddies in all shapes and sizes, and playful puppies, cheeky chicks, and dear little ducklings. Their eyes twinkle as they watch and they wait until Lisa finds them their friend, the child that will love them and they will love back. You see, Lisa can match any child with the perfect cuddly friend. A boy with a bear or a girl with a goat. Anything is possible in this little shop. It began when Lisa was little and her very own teddy chose her. Her teddy turned up in a battered old box which she keeps still to this day. It sits in the shop next to a comfy chair upon which sit a bear, a rabbit and a lamb. But what do you think happens when Lisa goes home and the shop is closed for the night? In the dark and the quiet, magical things happen to that battered old box. When the moon shines through the shop window, it lights up speckles of dust that glitter and dance through the air and gently fall upon the box, the cosy chair and the three toys sitting there. Lita Lamb, Hoppy Rabbit and Jimmy Bear wake up. They yawn and they stretch and they giggle with glee, for they know a secret about Lisa's old box. Once the moon is just right, and not a moment before, the battered old box opens and is filled with shimmering moonlight, and the moonbeams become a magical, mystical moonbeam slide. But where does it go? What's down that slide? Jimmy, Hoppy and Lita know, and they can't wait to hop on. Down and down they ride to fun and adventure in the land of the soft, cuddly friends. But where will they land this time? Listen and see. The banana battle. Whee! Jimmy Bear comes whooshing down the enchanted slide, landing in the thick fronds of a fern. Next comes Lita Lamb with Hoppy Rabbit tumbling after. Where are they? Jimmy looks up at the tall trees all around. Thick vines hang down like ropes. He starts to say, 
I think we're in the jolly jungle, Lita shouts. I was going to say that, Jimmy grumbles. Shush, you two, Hoppy tells them. Her ears are pricked up. She's listening. There's someone there, she whispers. Lita and Jimmy listen as well. Oh, yes, there's someone there. No, two people. Two people quarrelling. It's my banana. No, it's mine. I found it. The three friends creep through the ferns towards the squabbling voices. No, I left it on the tree stump. No, I found it on the tree stump. But I found it first. Then why didn't you eat it? When I eat my banana, it's none of your business. It is when it's my banana. The three friends can now see a chimpanzee dangling by one arm from a vine, trying to snatch the banana in question from a gorilla who keeps moving the banana out of reach. Then he spots the three friends watching them. Bodo, we have visitors, he says. Hoppy, Jimmy and Lita step out from the ferns and say hello. Bodo, the chimpanzee, hastily swings to the ground. Uh, pleased to meet you, he says. I'm Bodo, and this is my friend Bongi. Well, he was my friend, then he took my banana, which I found, so it's mine, and now he says that he found it and that it's his, but it's mine because I found it and he... The little chimp gushes so quickly that Jimmy, Lita and Hoppy can't take it all in. All the while, Bongi is eyeing up the banana. He quietly starts to peel it, but Bodo shrieks, Stop! so loudly that Bongi drops the banana on the ground. He goes to pick it up, but Bodo jumps forward. That is mine! he snaps. Bongi rolls his eyes. Here we go again. Desperate for them to make friends, Lita says, Surely there are other bananas around here. You don't have to fight over this one. Bodo waves his arms wildly in the air. Of course there are, but that's not the point. This banana is mine and he took it. The little gorilla shakes his head. I found it. It's mine. Now Jimmy shakes his head. This can't go on. Look, we can settle this with, um, a race. Bodo and Bongi both look up in surprise. Yeah, a race growls Jimmy. And the winner gets to eat this banana. Sorted. The little chimp likes that idea. Oh yes, he says. But he jumps up and grabs a vine. We're not running, we're swinging. That's not fair, Bongi protests. You're too good at swinging, everyone knows that. But before Bodo can argue, Hoppy says, Please don't squabble about it. What are you both good at? The little gorilla and chimp look at each other and then say together, Eating bananas! And they rush off into the jungle. Lita, Jimmy and Hoppy watch in disbelief when they come back with their arms full of bananas gathered from the nearby banana trees. This is silly, Lita whispers to her friends. They're going to eat loads of bananas to see who should have that one banana. Hoppy shrugs and Jimmy tries not to laugh. Let them, he snorts. At least they're not fighting anymore. Eventually, both Bodo and Bongi have collected enough bananas and they each sit in front of a big heap of them. With Lita carefully holding the prize banana, Jimmy acts as a referee. He says... Contestants, are you ready? Bodo and Bongi both nod, their eyes fixed firmly on their banana heaps. On your marks, get set, go! Quick as lightning, they grab their first bananas, peel them, and gulp, they're gone. Throwing the skin behind them, they're onto the next banana and the next. Lita counts as the banana peels stack up behind the two competitors. Four, five, six. Hoppy's tummy starts to feel funny just watching them. She's sure she would have been sick by now. But they keep on going, each as fast as the other. Seven, eight. But Jimmy notices they're slowing down. 
the contestants start to peel banana number nine. Bodo snorts, and Bongi wipes sweat from his brow. Then they're on to the tenth. They have slowed up so much, it's like slow motion, but still they bite into the banana at exactly the same time. They are both looking very full, and after they finally swallow that first bite, they have to try really hard to take another. But if they haven't had enough, Lita has. Stop it now! The little lamb shouts, and waving her hooves, she angrily marches up to the competitors. Bodo and Bongi look up at her in surprise. Hoppy thinks they look relieved. This is so silly! Lita bleats, and she snatches their half-eaten bananas from their hands and throws them on the ground. 